Hello folks and welcome to an inkdependence.com brief video review and water drop test. This time we have two cans royal blue. Comes in a uh, little sample like this. This is from Anderson Pens. It's the only folks that sell this stuff in America. If you're an Aussie then you can get it uh, locally in Australia I imagine. But if you're in the US just Anderson Pens. So that's it. Uh, you can see I don't have a whole lot left. This used to be a 3 mil sample but the pen I was using is this one. This is a uh, VAC 700 Twisby and uh, it carries a lot of ink. I don't have a Twisby nib on here. This is a Knox nib. Got this from um, xfountainpens.com. Quite a good little shop if you want some uh, uh, very inexpensive nibs. These are number six Knox nibs. I have three of them and they're all great except that they don't say what size they are. I'm pretty sure this is the medium, although it might be the fine. They're kind of close together and I got all three and I didn't keep them in the same baggies, so unless I look at the nibs together, I can't really tell. But if you want number six size nibs, I think they also have fives. Um, I don't know, say you want to put a new nib in a Jin Hao to make it a good nib, or in uh, one of those Ahabs, if you like Ahabs, I hate them. But if you like them, get one of these, or anything else you have with a number six that you just aren't really loving the nib, or you want a bunch of more options. Uh, anyway, that's a little nib plug. Get them there. Uh, I know Goulet sells them too, but they're like 20 bucks, and these are, I think I got three for 17 bucks. So, you know, take that as you will. All right. Um, so this is uh, not very saturated ink. The problem with this ink for me is that it's just kind of weak. I mean, look at this here, smear. It's an interesting color, but uh, I think it needs to be mixed. These uh, toucan inks are all very mixable. They're sort of meant to be. And so uh, none of them are very saturated. But this one's probably the weakest one so far. Uh, so mix this up with, I don't know, put like a tiny drop of the black in there maybe? Or one of the other blues? Hell, maybe a little red would be interesting. i got to start mixing these a little bit. But because I don't have much left, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, but this one, definitely a mixing ink. Maybe not so much an ink to uh, stand out on the page all by itself. I, uh, I don't know, it's not my favorite blue. But if you look here, it's next to some other good blues. The Schaefer, Schaefer Turquoise, which I have only in cartridges. Uh, I really like that. It's one of my favorite turquoises. It's a very blue turquoise. Next to Omos Blue down there, which is sort of a very dark blue. Um, it's kind of, I don't know, a little purpley actually, that Omos Blue. Uh, it doesn't have the best behavior either. I'd kind of stay away from it. Uh, Diamine Salamander, excellent ink. And then uh, Black Brahmin, which I managed to smear well after it was dry. That ink is a great black ink, but man, it just takes forever to dry on Rhodia. And then the Toucan Aqua, which I'm really actually liking a lot. This is a good ink. And you can see even the Aqua is more saturated than this Royal Blue. I don't really know why. All right, let's try it out uh, with a water drop test here. Let me zoom back out of Skosh. I'm not using my tripod today. Sorry for the jittery cam, but that's how it goes. All right, spray some water. That's all the water I had. Nope. All right, cool. So we'll let that sit there, but you can sort of tell that it's not going to be great. It's already coming away. You can barely see the lines in there anyway. Find myself a clean spot on here to wipe with. There we go. And uh, let's wipe, wipe, wipe. Oh yeah, nothing. No water resistance whatsoever on this thing. There you go. You can see that. That was actually a clean corner more or less. So yeah, all this blue came up. Even just a little bit of wiping. Let's see what happens when I wipe across this. Yeah, even just a little bit of wiping um, takes it right off the rodeo. So, and it's been on here for several days. A couple of, hell, a week, I guess, at least. So, anyway, it uh, had plenty of time to adhere. It didn't. I'm not shocked. Here's the uh, chromatography for this ink. And uh, you can see down here at the bottom on the left hand side, not a whole lot left. In fact, almost nothing. You can sort of see where it used to be, but it fled right at the page. Unlike the other inks in this uh, set, most of them are kind of solid colors. This one's got some other stuff in there. There's a little bit of violet, maybe a little bit of gray or something. Kind of a weak black base, maybe. I don't know. But uh, the bright blue, the actual royal blue stuff is up here. So anyway, there you go. This has been Toucan's Royal Blue. Not my favorite, but I think it could be a really good uh, mixing ink. But uh, no flow problems. Didn't have any problems with uh, bleeding, feathering, or spreading, none of that stuff. Um, so it's a well-behaved ink, no water resistance, and it's kind of unsaturated. I think there's a little bit more ink in that ink. But uh, mix it up with those uh, two cans, see how it goes. All right, so I'm Mike. This is inkdependence.com. If you want to see a written review, well, this one, I guess, and a whole bunch more pictures and such, go over to my blog at inkdependence.com. If you want to help support Inkdependence's efforts to bring you all this uh, wonderful ink stuff, please go to patreon.com slash inkdependence to find out how you can help. And trust me, every bit helps. All right, guys, see you later. Peace out.